Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to today's presentation. Welcome to this presentation. We'd like to show you our project, our disruptive project. Where we started to propose the optimization from a strategy. So we will show you how we from the plan can be aligned to the strategy. My name is Emilio Martinez. I'm from the Lin Institute of Chile, and together with Horacio Gajardo and Mitchell Fuentes, we will show you how we have been working firsthand. We will tell you the details of the results we have achieved. Horacio, the floor is yours. Well, as Emilio said, my name is uh, Horacio Gajardo. I'm production and operating manager, so I will tell you about our venture and the improvement tool. This adventure starts from an strategic part. We have had some experiences with TPM. TPM we consider it a very good tool to start having experience with continuous improvement tools. But the only thing we could show with TPM that it was too slow. It was a very slow process and very focused and oriented to production, to production line. And we as a company defined that we wanted to see how it affected all our area in the company margin. Therefore, after the TPM experience, we decided to change to Lean. So we aligned ourselves with the Lean Institute towards this new adventure. So this is to tell you our very rewarding adventure. And every time we can have some external parties, external service, we can realize or we can notice something we never noticed before. So let me tell you, has been a great experience and then gratifying and rewarding the place. Now let me tell you about our experience. Everything is starts. As you can see, this will be the focus of presentation. This will be the food industry in our company's history, our stories, and some examples, and of course, some improvements we have achieved. Then let us start with the food industry. In this project, we talked a lot about what you can do. We try to see the strategy the organization was aiming towards to end, we realized there was some working focus in the commercial area. There was some work to do in popular adaptation, some warehouse working as well as supply, and at the plants themselves from the production standpoint. Then by noticing the strategy connected to the plant. Then we wonder why don't we work at the plant? I think it's probably more pragmatic to say we should focus on that so that we can show where I need the help. There were so many things to discuss at coaching that we cannot do that at once, focusing at the same time. So we decided to work at the plant themselves and align horizontally and vertically what we were doing. Let's go to the next slide. Then, what is what we did at the time of starting the development and the definition of the objectives of the plan? That was considered as a full tool, so we started to, to talk to the warehouse, to formulation, to logistics and shipping to start clarifying what the study means. Then we referred to point by point. And that helped us greatly to be able to think to be more agile and keep and a quicker and what we were doing so our consumer now one way or the other at least keep it more agile. 
child manner and teacher and idea in which in the result of course we have a road to go but we'll show you now what we are doing right now but actually we'll check it out in this story I like to show you one story which is Jomar the company timeline in 1952 and that's where our teacher starts and we do that so we can have to for the company start throughout the world we have grown continuously here by the gentleman that we have been to Australia and we several pieces that I will show you later. So this is story based off to 1953 until now, which is when the company started. We have been able to acquire a technology company to be ordered for two now opening our perspective to the Have the more important twenty twenty one. You can see that we still have been above one point seven billion euros, euros which manufactures one point forty four billion tons in the world, approximately one thousand seven hundred and fifty. I would think we try to have this Our sales are present more than 90 countries. The main features of this is the source, the Atlantic Town, which is our biggest city. And the scene, the second one, and then we have South. And some other stations with a lower volume, we are especially in Salmon Atlantic. Now that we see the people of ground throughout the world, this map shows you the different visitors located in different places in the world. We have been very diversified and massified and they get to be present in the places we haven't seen in the place yet. So this is going to the For example, in the Americas, in South America, we got the South Asia plant. As well as one in Ecuador, both have been seen, and two, where we are now concentrated, we have two plants, two in Paraguay, and one in Castro, to the southern north, or to Peru. Let me tell you about our process, our manufacturing process. That's an important process. There have been some variations, though, and as you can see, José Manuel, se escucha mal, está entrecortado. So we got the raw material. We got a grinding section. This is a and then we mix everything. It goes through the other process where we produce the pellet and the feed, then comes the drying plant, and after drying, and after that, uh, then we continue with this uh, next process. So we cover this pellet, and then we continue with the rest of the processes. You can see them now. On this slide, to go to the packing stage to be transported to the seaport and to those facilities where we have our center. If I talk about our guiding principles, I can tell you that one of them is performance. We work with our customers. 
in order to have access to the most efficient and responsible feeding practices. The social sustainability here, which is the social responsibility to develop sustainable aquaculture, the social innovation, one of our strengths, is an area yeah, working strongly on innovation, research and development, and also collaboration with different places to develop it for our customers. Let me tell you about our experience working with the improvement tools, of course, tools. This is a business from our general manager. Our pasta was the future. At Bioma, we're very happy to continue making progress in this fascinating work that we started six years ago with CCM. Some months ago, we are starting to simplify this process of improvement, cooperation with the local customers, supported by the lead philosophers, and two of the companies and the leaders of this period. With this, we keep the path to the focus of the development of people and their capabilities. To make this a better work and use our administration to be the best to suit our clients' needs. You will be getting involved in different areas in the community. José, te estás alejando el micrófono. Yes. This is the general manager phrase and Lynn is helping us to the improvement based on people development, which I think is the most important. I believe that the system is customized in that way. So let me tell you that when we started, we set ourselves a purpose. We wanted to increase our capacity to increase the tones in 20% to improve, of course, our uptime in 5% and adjust costs according to the need of the demand of our clients. We have now here a table explaining what the goals were, the goal we set ourselves and I have just mentioned in our plans, for example, and the availability we were showing, trying to reach an 82% of the time we had scheduled. Therefore, that was the basis of how we were going to work, strongly focused on costs and the line performance. After we have defined our goals, what you have already seen as an objective, in order to understand the problem, we work in BSM and we held weekly meetings. Of course, we added a countermeasure plans where we established several elements and we made a hierarchy and to summarize, because there are several more, we were working strongly on the raw material supply and the availability. Sustainability was another thing we tackled. We managed a model at all levels. This is more or less our history by using the Lean tool. We can see here the mapping, the value stream mapping. It's been incredible, let me tell you, because everything was like an odyssey when working with this because we found out that we had hundreds of problems with the way we used to operate. We saw that there were 48 opportunities. This is what we have identified. Out of them, 27 represented a high impact, whereas 14 medium impact and 77 low impact. Our main focus was to agree upon our internal areas. There was a communication problem clearly to agree upon this point and to generate this mapping. Same thing happened to improve the external areas in the various departments. Nobody knew or was aware of what information to communicate to any other person. The management of the inventory to generate the stops or breaks and the last minute changes to deliver our products to the customers. The planning level was also another issue 
sometimes we were changing day by day at any time, and that was another thing we had to tackle. And of course, teams availability, sometimes idle time, so time could give us more production. We were able to obtain more tones. One more countermeasure plan you can see now on the screen where we have the matrix. Regarding the opportunities we found and the impact it had in according to the plant we generated, and you can see it on your right, we got 91% of these measures being closed in 33 weeks. Let's talk about our 22 plants. So now, Mitchell, I'm sorry, we will present now the A3 plant supply. That will be Jose. Hello, good morning. My name is Jose Pinilla. I'm operation manager of Biomar Chile. As Horacio was telling you, this work we did with the Lean Institute and all the teams at the different areas, rather than focusing on each of the problems, we try to relate each of them, each of the problems we were facing. And according to that, and as Horacio was mentioning, we had to prioritize some of them. And as you know, in these last two years, the market, referring to the logistics and sea transport containers and all that stuff, I would say that around 60% of our raw material comes from abroad. And that was causing several problems for breaks, for stops, particularly due to transport and the warehouse system occurring during this one year and a half. And of course, in addition to the external logistics, as a matter of fact, seaports in Chile were facing several reception problems and there were several delays, severe delays. So this A3 was specifically devoted and it started originally to refer to the stock outages and to do to make recalculation of everything. This work has been done with optimization work. And obviously the first thing we wanted to do was to optimize our warehouses and reduce at minimum the stock outages. As you can see in the illustration, we'll be defining it was each color in this graphic is a different type of raw material. We were by groups of raw material. That means that we were having problems not only individually, but in the whole groups. So we started checking the courses. It has to do with the inventory, the capacity for reception we'll be having, how to administer those. There was a problem of difference in inventory, and this caused the high, the high and lows in inventories. So once we identified that with the teams, because this is not something just related to the operations, it was a whole team, teams from the different areas related to it. This is supply, formulation, logistics of raw material, and we as plant operations on the production area. So we decided to take some measures. One of them was creating an alert preventive system. It is studied with an Excel spreadsheet, and then was more systemic. In the warehouse administration to have the corresponding and the proper capacities, and that was done prior an analysis, the optimization of each of the elements. We have tanks, silos, and warehouses to work. And after that, we made the proper calculation, so we use a specific means for what we needed. And before the logistic contingency, the external one, we made a calculation according to the economic area, and we decided an internal plan to work an 85% of maximum so that we could administer this logistic properly. So there was a calculation of logistic with a scheduling of tracks and start working in a group, in a specific group. The results, as you can see now, by July, there was seven outages, seven outages in the three plants we have. At present, in October, we haven't experienced any outage because we have achieved a very good result with this work. In order to summarize, this is work that's been done, and to do so, we take some, we took some measures, this is a KPI here, this is a small summary of what we were doing. 
and we are month by month measuring this at point two, you can see the summary of the countermeasures we generated. And now we are 62% of the plant. And let I'll mention some of them in respect of the time, which is um, to, well, we meet monthly to standardize the preventive daily alley system to improve and optimize the mix of the raw material we currently use. Besides, we system by system, we make the parameterization and optimization of the M MPP. Nowadays, we are just working on the development. And as you can see in the last table, that's our silo capacities. That's an example we wanted to set where in the past those colors were very variable. The orange color was the capacity we used to have. Nowadays, it's absolutely managed and that is worked on weekly versus the work with the different areas. And as a matter of fact, Lynn has been working on it. This is more or less what we have done. Now will be my colleague to continue with this presentation. Hello, good morning. My name is Michel Fuentes, maintenance manager of Biomar plants in Chile. And well, I just wanted to tell you our experience of what Lynn has been directly in what refers to plant availability and how important the availability is in plant. In the first uh, table, in the first illustration, you can see how availability has work in the maintenance during 2020, 21, and 22 to date. Our goal is to work with the indicators we have reached in 2020, but we have faced different improvements in the lines. And this is an example of what we have done in them. Everything you can see there is line two, Pargua line, Pargua plant, and we have evolved significantly when it comes to the unforeseen events in the line. And this is because we have worked on a performance plan to the rise, as you can see in 2020, the performance was in X terms per hour. And now in 2021, we increased in 5%. And now we are working in 10% more on our capacity. This has meant different problems in the line. And we have been analyzing them with the lean Team, and as you can see in item two, the main causes are the increase of the equipment and machinery failures, the increase of the wear of the machinery. We have also done different checklists to the equipment and we have faced several problems with everything that happened in worldwide, which is the spare part supply. And due to this, we have worked with a Pareto diagram, you can see now on the screen, and we have selected the first five teams representing the biggest problem or the biggest situation in the line. So the idea behind this is that in step three, to work directly with the production area and all the areas in the plant working with different plants. First of all, we should hold weekly management meetings with the production areas as well as other areas to start making progress towards the problems that might be presented in the line. Then to improve communication and teamwork. This is very important, particularly at the plants and generally in the company. We also need to work directly and devotedly in the improvements we make, we do at the plant, so that we can generate it in the short and long term. This has meant some commitments from different areas where we can weekly and monthly check our progress. There are different Pareto analyses being conducted at different parts of the line to check how our problem development are progressing the ones we schedule as a team. So that allows us to generate different activities and commitments by the areas. So once again, this make us work as a team 
to check daily problems and project ourselves to the, towards the future. In the results area, we have two illustrations directly impacting on us. And although there is a slight rise, it has helped us greatly. In the last two months, we have seen that work being concreted. And what we need nowadays is the teamwork, the committed work, discipline, and this tool, we can see it now at Lean. Lean has contributed greatly in these activities. This is my part. Horacio, will you continue? We are connected at the different levels, which I consider the most important in this pyramid. How we can, how we have conveyed information, trying to find help at different levels. So again, this has been in a communication problem based. I won't go deeper on it, but this is the way of how we organize in terms of how we work, in terms of how we see the KPIs of the different areas and how we share that information among us. And again, we have those weekly management leaders meeting for each of the areas where we try to detect our indicators, KPI indicators. Then we have the operational support at different levels. So we go scaling from the heads towards the production heads and generally to managers and general manager Depending on the problem we are facing, analysis is shown, the cause, Pareto cause analysis, all the problems we have detected, which have an impact, they are analyzed, and according to the results, we can show our rework, the evolution of our rework. We have had some uh, rises, but it's historically been low. When we talk about the performance, we can see a rise here. As a matter of fact, the performance have exceeded the manufacturer nominal, the manufacturers of our exclusor of the line or exclusor lines have been amazed at how we have reached those performance. And somehow our maintenance manager felt that because he had being able to work on those machineries or things that were not initially designed for that. We can see here the availability, the uptime is being evolving and improving as well as our quality at the right first time. That's been part of our work. We have also seen an evolution in costs that has taken us a lot of time to be more very efficient in our production costs. And finally, the way we have uh, defined and making people be involved, they feel heard, and that has meant the achievement of some things we considered impossible to achieve at the beginning. That's part of, uh, part of the teamwork, the committed teamwork with Lean. And this is our presentation, our experience, a very good experience and glad to have been shared it with you. Thank you very much, team. Thank you very much to everybody. Thank you to Biomar for their effort, for the work we're doing. We continue going forward and we will continue with this erratic project as best as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you.